Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. Uh, respect uh, from Universal Home Entertainment hits the hits the, the the physical media format today. This is the one starring Jennifer Hudson and uh, Forrest Whitaker. I'll be talking about this one at the end of my review portion uh, of this video right here, al along with like Stillwater and some other films. Another one that's coming out today is Reminiscence. This is a new Hugh Jackman film. I got sent. I got sent a, 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 a copy of it for free to review uh, from Warner Brothers. I haven't got a chance to check this one out yet, so stay tuned for next week, and I'll, I'll be talking about this one in the review portion. Uh, but right now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, I'm not filming this on Blu-ray Tuesday uh, because on you know the, on the day you're watching this. I'll be out of town with a couple of friends, uh, you know, doing some doing some fun stuff and hopefully bringing more videos to you guys, uh, you know, in, in the near in the near future. So uh, please forgive me. So when I'm there's not gonna be any Best Buy or you know stuff like that in this video showing you guys new releases because I'm not filming this on Blu-ray Tuesday. Uh, I just have happen to have these ones, uh, you know, that I got from the companies and stuff beforehand. Uh, so stay tuned to some to the end of this video for some reviews of like new Blu-rays and stuff like that. But right now, let's head on out, hit up a couple of thrift stores. Ones that maybe I haven't hit up in a while and see if I can find some cool stuff. Well, the first stop of the day for this adventure, Hope of the Valley Thrift Store. Let's head on in and see what they got. All right, guys, just got in here to see what they got going on in here today, besides a lot of goddamn noise. Uh, I mean, since I walked in here, it's been crazy with pe people and workers doing crazy stuff in here, breaking glass and everything. Uh, gone with the wind, if I, if, this, if I had this a couple, uh, <laughs> A couple like a year or so ago, that would be like 80 bucks right there. Now it's like two dollars. See, season 10 of The Simpsons is in is in here, but dude, I gotta be real careful. Like right next to where the movies are, is like this bed frame. It's shit. Like anybody can just fall over it and shit. It's I guys gotta be careful what I'm doing in here today. Just trying to see if I can hunt for something cool. Uh, Empire season three, they got going on in here. Maybe I can find something cool to uh, add to my collection or something. Oh, they even have a HD DVD up in here. What is this? Casper. Old school Casper VHS. I always like I always liked the Casper movie with Christina Ricci. The cartoon was okay too, way back in the day. What is this? What is this? The Chipmunk Adventure. The boys are back. Yeah, they got a handful of new uh, VHS tapes in here since the last time I came in here. D Disney stuff. Getting out of the Hope of the Valley right now. Kind of frustrating in there today. With like things everywhere blocking everything. You know, and then like a lot of loud noises. I get it. People are just working, trying to do their jobs. But <sighs> to put a bed frame right there in front of like shelves of stuff. Customers can shop there. Hello? Well, guys, off to my next destination of the day. The secret secret thrift store let's head on in and see if they got any new movies well guys just made it on in here and uh let's keep our fingers crossed hopefully we can find some goodness because uh it's like wedged between this shelf and the movies so like it's always kind of hard to to look through here i usually come in here uh you know with mr nichols and stuff but uh let's see what they got uh blu-ray wise first blu-rays are five bucks a piece so maybe they got some new stuff Maybe they got something new. We shall see. You see here. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. What did they even have these little ghetto these are ghetto ass Blu-rays. Dollar ninety nine ones right there. Another year. Hmm. It looks like some of the same old same old kind of stuff, but if I find anything, I'll definitely let you guys know if I come across anything kinda of rad in here. Oh, that one's kind of beat up. It looks like there's poopoo on it. Looks like, looks like there's poopoo on it. They do have season 11 of Degrassi, now and forever. I think this is like the new series of Degrassi that came out. That came out. You don't normally see these that often in uh, places like this. They also have, what's it called, uh, Ninja Turtles season 5 that comes in that pizza box. But the thing is, with places like this, you have to like really... Like, look at the discs and stuff like that, see if they were all scratched up and stuff. Because I think these places like this, you know, like, buy out storage lockers. You know, kind of like storage wars in a way. So you never know what kind of condition the stuff's going to be in. So that's why you have to, like, you know, be careful and check. When it comes to this Degrassi DVD right here, take a look at this. 
take a look at that. Hmm. That's a must buy. But man, I'm still looking through here, seeing if I can find anything else cool in here. But they sure as hell make it really hard to try to, you know, look at the different stuff. Like I'm sitting on a fucking couch right, right now and it's like all this stuff like blocking the ways and it's, it's, <laughs> I was just on the other side, uh, the other side over there looking at stuff and I don't think I was able to see everything because I just can't, you know what I mean? It's just kind of like, it's really difficult. So I, I may be missing some stuff. That's CK, CKY4, that's pretty cool. What is this? The harder they come, that looks unique. Put up by Exxon uh, Pictures. I remember those ones from back in the day. What is this? Pump up the volume. Was this like a documentary or something about dancing? All right. So weird, unique stuff in places like this. Weird, unique stuff in here. Getting out of the secret thrift store right there. I like that place because I can find some good shit sometimes. But I also fucking hate that place because they don't make it. Uh, customer friendly in there, you know what I mean with like the space and jamming stuff in together It's really frustrating over at my next destination of the day Ventura treasures just made it into the antique mall over here And I believe the movies are back here unless they moved them because I I don't come here very often And the last time I came here I saw this thing. And I thought it was kind of cool like this species 2 lenticular uh, poster That's kind of cool I saw that there last time, and I believe the DVDs and stuff are right over here against this, and you know, in this little bookcase over here. But they do have some like Cabbage Patch Kids dolls, a lot of like creepy, creepy looking <laughs> dolls that are just like staring at me. Oh boy, ooh, duck slippers. But I'm gonna dive into this and see if I can find anything that's rare. Maybe out of print. Ooh, Steve Martin. Midnight Special. Or maybe something I can add to my, you know, my personal collection. So let me move some of this stuff out of the way so I can maybe take a better look. Ooh, DVDs on the floor. They got DVDs on the floor over here. What is this? Hmm. Is that Hellgate? The Hellgate? Yeah, I'm gonna have, definitely gonna have to like dig through some of this stuff and see. Uh, what they got going. Well, it looks like the DVDs in here are two dollars a piece. The Blu-rays, I'm not a hundred percent sure. They do have like just, you know, some random generic uh, Blu-ray ones here. I did see something Hellbound, Hellraiser 2. Is this like an old school, like original DVD? This is not Anchor Bay. This is from Top 10 New Media. I don't think I've ever heard of that company before. That, that, that cover is pretty rad though. This is a semi-common release, but horror fans, us horror fans are, you know, kind of crazy when it comes to, you know, different releases of things. Hey, kitty cat. What you doing? What you doing? It's okay, you can go. You can go. I'm not going to eat you. Yet. They have a whole bunch of seasons of, like, Stargate G1 uh, over here. Season 4, Season 6. You know, a whole bunch of this different, like, you know, Stargate seasons i may have to look into these ones to see what they're going for online and stuff i do have a handful of those uh up in here kind of sort of feeling like i might be striking out check that out guys bugs bunny warner brothers sign like you know warner brothers presents with bugs bunny that thing's big as shit dude look at that i'm guessing that's probably like a good 15 20 pounds that is super cool along with a rest in peace sign tombstone right there off to the next destination of the day which is a pawn shop slash bail bonds place let's see if they got any new movies in since the last time i've been here yeah guys i don't know how much video i'm going to get in here but uh they do have an abundance of stuff they even have a new section here where i have to like go through different little bins and stuff to see you know what they have or if they got anything cool or new but uh it's always weird inside pawn shops doing these things but we shall see what i come across if i find anything cool I'll definitely let you guys know. What is this? Well, still looking in here, seeing if they have anything kind of unique or cool. Like the best of Benny Hill and some other like random stuff like Rooster Cogburn. Some old school John Wayne right there. I came across this. This looks kind of unique. You know, Born to Dance and Lady Be Good right there. This old uh, 
Mario Van Peoples film called Solo. I think I remember seeing this one on the video store shelves uh, back in the day. If I'm not mistaken, like VHS maybe back in the day. I believe this one has got a, a Blu-ray release a couple years ago, Enemy Mine and stuff. There's some, there's some okay stuff in here. Some decent stuff in here. Over at the last stop of the day, the Big Ass Goodwill. Well, the Big Ass Goodwill that's in my area. Not Fluffy's Big Ass Goodwill. His Goodwill is better than mine. But let's go see what they got in here. Coming over to the movie section over here. Even though it looks like they're kind of making it smaller. Like they're putting more books here than they did for movies. They already have a book section there. So like this, the <laughs> looks like the movie section and the game section is getting smaller as we go. But let's see what we come across in here today. Some Harry Potter. Day after tomorrow. I don't think I've ever watched this one. Finding Neverland. I might have to get up on that one one day. Let me know down below. Is it worth watching, guys? I always like Johnny Depp. Man of Honor. What is this? Trying to see if I can find anything cool. Teenage Ninja Turtles. What is in here? Ooh. Gabriel would like this. Thundercats Season 1, Volume 1. Oh, it's like just random discs. Oh, it's just like... Oh, it's not even, it's not even that. It's Justice League. Yep. Season 3 of Duck Dynasty. They only have a little bit of Blu-rays here. A little bit of Blu-rays. Some HD DVDs in here. Kill Bill 2. Ghost Protocol. Kill Bill 1. Yeah, some, this is some of the generic kind of stuff in here today. Getting out of Goodwill right now. And uh, about to head on home to show you guys what I picked up. And for some new Blu-ray reviews. Let's head on home. But if you guys enjoyed my video, please hit that thumbs up button. Drop a comment down below saying hi de ho Alright guys, back home now from hoarding up. Sorry, it wasn't like a regular hoarding up video where I go to like the Best Buy and Target, show all the new releases and stuff like that, Walmart style and everything. But I'm here now to show you guys what I picked up today and do, do some Blu-ray reviews for you. I uh, got these all at that, um, what was it called, that little, my, my secret uh, thrift store. Uh, right there, and I picked up the Grossi. Uh, it was called Now and Forever. This is a season 11, yeah, season 11, part one. Here on DVD, this one sells for about the lowest I've seen it sell for is about $50, upwards of 70. So I got this one to resell uh, right there. Me and my sister have all of these ones on DVD already in our collection. I uh, also picked up this VHS of a uh, Jesus Christ Superstar. This is a brand new factory sealed VHS tape, and uh, it was like next to nothing price-wise to get it. And I can probably get like 15 to 20 bucks for this uh, VHS right here, as what I picked up. And I also got this one. I got this one pretty much for myself. I don't think I have this one in my collection. And when I saw the man that's on the cover, I'm like, I gotta get it. And it's the man himself, the dragon. Don, the Dragon Wilson. I picked up uh, Operation Cobra here on DVD. Uh, this is... There's some old school, old school uh, Don the Dragon Wilson flick right here. I think it's, yeah, 1997, so it's not super old school, but 1997, you know, from, he's from Blood Fist, Magic Kid, uh, Black Belt and everything. I always loved Don the Dragon Wilson. He's, he's been featured in some of my videos throughout the years. Uh, man, one of my, one of my favorite uh, martial artists. But that's what I picked up out there in the wild, going to those thrift stores today. Not a whole lot of stuff. Uh, but I, like I said, I have uh, four Blu-rays here. Uh, to talk to you guys about today in the review portion. And the first two up I got here are from uh, Universal Home Entertainment that I got sent for free to review and talk about for you guys for these videos here. And the first one up is starring Matt Damon and it's called Stillwater. Uh, this one came out a week or so back. Uh, that's in stores right now. And we all know Matt Damon from you know Goodwill Hunting and the Bourne Identity movies and stuff. It also stars Abigail Bresland. And it's about uh, Matt Damon's character who moves from Oklahoma to France uh, to see his estranged daughter that's in prison and to find out why she's behind bars and is she, is she the one that killed this person that got her behind bars or was she framed and put behind bars you know and he's just there to try to figure out what's going on and how to get her out of this out of the situation that his daughter's in and just you know the back and forth between the two and the friends that Matt Damon makes along the way that, that's helping him you know try to find the supposed killer and, and things. Uh, I found this movie to be um, pr pretty decent, solidly, solidly acted, uh, nice, nicely paced. You know, th throughout the movie, uh, it's directed by the same director as um, the movie Spotlight that came out a few years ago. Yeah, Tom McCarthy. I found it to be a, pr a pretty decent, 
uh, like thriller film in moments when it's him trying to figure out what's going on with his daughter and how he's going to prove her innocence. And it also has like this little love story in there uh, between him and, and, and another, uh, uh, him and a French lady that's uh, in the film that's helping helping him out trying to, you know, prove his daughter's innocence. And uh, it's, uh, I don't know, man, like it, it, was, it was enjoyable uh, for, for, you know, for, for me to check out right here. And of course to see Abigail Breslin uh, in something, it's the first time I've seen her in a while since she was like in, um, uh, what was that movie? It was, there was some movie that Abigail Breslin did and she was like a little kid and she was like dancing on stage. I'm forgetting the movie now. It was like S Sunshine. Sun I, I, forgot the, I forgot the film right now. Uh, but this Blu-ray right here looks really, really good. It also comes with a making of behind the uh, scenes featurette. A little, you know, interview in here with the director and things like that. But if you're a fan of Matt Damon, you you might get it. You might you might really enjoy the, his acting in this one. Solid, solid acted flick right here. And uh, next up over here uh, from Universal Home Entertainment as well uh, is a movie that I saw in theaters too during this pandemic and really really enjoyed it. It's also because I've been a fan of her music since I was a kid growing up. And that is a movie about uh, Aretha Franklin, a biopic on Aretha Franklin, starring Jennifer Hudson and um, uh, it was called uh, Sean Wayans. Uh, or Mar Marlon Wayans, sorry, Marlon Wayans from the Wayans Brothers, and that is Respect uh, here on Blu-ray. Really, really cool that they this one's getting a uh, a cool Blu-ray release. I'm not sure if it's I'm not sure if it's getting out out there on 4K or not, but uh, it's just a biopic on um, Aretha Franklin's life and how she how she grew up and how she became to be the mega Motown star that she be, that she became, and just like some of her hardships that she had to go through as a kid, like when she was like nine or like nine or ten or something like that. Someone, you know, her dad. Her dad was like a preacher of this small town, and always, you know, threw parties at her house, at, at the house. And during one of these parties, when she was sleeping in her room, someone that's, that was part of the, you know, her her dad's church group, came into her room and did something this un unspeakable, unspeakable to her, and uh, she she became pregnant because of that. And uh, you know that that's how, that's pretty much how her life started. And uh, some of the stuff that was talked about in this movie. I didn't even know, I didn't even know about Aretha Franklin, you know what I mean? Like, I knew her from her music and seeing her in, like, you know, the Blues Brothers movies and stuff like that. And, you know, I've always just li liked her music in general. And uh, watching this movie, man, oof, some, some rough, rough stuff happens in here. You also get Forrest Whitaker uh, in here playing her, uh, playing Aretha Franklin's father in this movie. I've always been a big fan of, uh, you know, Forrest Whitaker ghost dog and of course fast times at ridgemont high is only in that for a little bit but i've always i've always liked forrest whitaker uh but if you're a fan of aretha franklin and would like to know a little bit more about the about the lady definitely check this one out especially the end credit sequence you get like you know um actual concert footage of aretha aretha franklin uh, you know like singing some singing some songs during the during like the, the, the credits and everything I, I like how they they added a touch to, touch of that uh in here you get a making of uh respect the making of the film uh, you also becoming Aretha, where you get uh, Jennifer Hudson talking about how she's transforming herself uh, into the the icon right there, and there's just some really cool different special features in here that I really did enjoy. But uh, if you like I said, if you're a fan of Aretha Franklin and her music, and you want to know more about her, check this one out. I don't know how much of it's true or how much of it's you know fabricated or not, you know, when it comes to her life, but. I, I really did enjoy this one. I really, really did. I like this one a little bit more in Stillwater, to be honest. But this one's out there in stores right now, if you guys want to get up on that one. And uh, next up over here is from Lionsgate Home Entertainment. And this is the 30th anniversary of ed edition of a movie I think I've only ever seen once. A long time ago, like in, in the, during the VHS days. And I never really remembered it very much. And then I watched it, now, I watched it again, and I'm going, I kind of understand why. I didn't like. It's not one of those high rewatch rewatch movies to me, and that is Steve Martin in L.A. Story. Uh, this is a, a a film about a about Steve Martin's character, who's a, a wacky, crazy, you know, weatherman in Los Angeles, and how one day uh, he's out on the street, and this this um the sign, there's this sign in the middle of this road, and it's, it's telling him to do stuff. You know what I mean? Like, do this, you know, like, you know, f follow what I'm saying and good things will happen, you know, kind of thing. And uh, wacky stuff ensues. And uh, you get Mary Lou Henner in here. Uh, you also get a, a cameo in here by Rick Moranis. And a whole bunch of really cool people from back in the, the early 90s that you, you, you've seen in movies and TV shows and things. I mean, it was enjoyable, but definitely not one of my favorite, um, you know, uh, Steve Martin flicks. I would always have to go with, you know, Bowfinger. Or like you know, Father of the Bride movies and, and things like that. This one was like was never one of those ones I watched all the time. 
And watching it back, I, I kind of understand why. It's not not bad or anything like that. It just, you know, I, I, just, I had a hard time getting into it. You know what I mean? I had a hard time really getting into it. But, uh, yeah, this is a new 30th anniversary edition with deleted scenes, outtakes, and some uh, making of special featurettes with the director now talking about the movie and an uh, older uh, special featurette talking about, you know, on, on set of the movie with the, with the cast and crew talking about it. De de decent special features, decent edition. Just not one of my favorite uh, Steve Martin movies right there. Uh, I had to rewatch it because I wanted to see if I, you know, if it was, if it'll change, you know, years later. Eh, not, not, not really my favorite. Not a bad movie by any means. But last up and not least is uh, from Sony Home Entertainment. And that is a movie I got sent to review as well. And that is a movie called Nine Days. Now this movie is a, 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 one of those like mind-blowing movies. And uh, it stars uh, Zazu Beetz, uh, Tony Hale, uh, Bill Skarsgård, uh, Wil Wilton Duke I believe his name is. And it's about I believe uh, uh, Wil Wilton Duke's character who uh, has this um, this house in the middle of nowhere. And he has these people come to his house and uh, sit there and watch these big rows of television sets that are all in, all in his house. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of hard to explain this movie without ruining what, what it's really about. But it, it's pretty much um, the adult version, live action version of the movie Soul. If you guys have ever seen the, the Disney film Soul, it's kind of like an art house live action version of that, but takes place in one house with a whole bunch of TVs. I kind of find it fascinating. At first, I thought I was watching like a like a new updated version of the tr of the Truman Show at, at first, when people were like watching home videos of other people's stuff, like on all these different TV screens in this person's house. I thought I thought it was you know like a tr Truman Show esque kind of thing. But uh, it's about life and death. And the person that's running this house is pretty much, you know, granting these people life. It, it, it's kind of weird. It's kind of kind of hard to explain, you know, this movie without... I think I, I may have even ruined it for you right now, but I don't even know. But it's one of those ones you have to watch multiple times to like, oh, that's what the hell was going on. Because I was watching this going, what am I watching right now? You know what I mean? It was kind of like, whoa, this is like... It was like it was like mind bending the shit out of me a little bit of like how, what what was really what was really going on in this especially the middle of the night when I was watching it. I enjoyed this one, uh, I really did. But I, if you guys have seen it, let me know down below in the comments what you guys thought about this one. Nine days from Sony Home Entertainment Look, looked amazing, well shot, well shot, well acted. I I I enjoyed it all the way around. But guys, that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today for this hoarding up video. Give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought about some of the stuff I talked about in this video. And uh, yeah, right now, I'm in Las Vegas with Fluffy Gamer and the OGP. Oh, when you guys are watching this video, that's where I'm at. Whoa! Whoa, so I expect some new videos soon. But guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.